Um, okay, so Twerk Team USA is an LLC, and it is a twerk company which mission is to expand twerking into the entertainment realm and give it credibility, style, and technique. Okay. So instead of what the notion of twerking um, has been, is almost like, haha, funny, or you see it at a right. strip club, clubs, haha, funny, or yeah, whatever. Right. But now you're seeing it put into choreography that's being put on primetime television. It literally prime is. Time. If you watch World of Dance, you've seen it, I guarantee yes, you. Yes, but also with um, Megan Thee Stallion, Chris yeah. Brown. Yeah, yeah music videos. Music galore. videos, but also live TV yep. on channels at, during a time when anybody can see it any like age group yeah. so it's yeah. not just as yes it is still a, a sexualized type of dance but it's to a point where it's almost like it's a fusion now like you can yeah. mix it up with hip-hop you can mix it up with whatever you it's know a fitness kind of thing too it is a fitness thing yeah. um a lot of, i know so many people who have like twerk fitness yeah. classes because it's you know having yep. a big I've been butt with a few, big, so. yeah. well i've also been with a few women that i wish took twerk classes because it would have been a better experience <laughs> like the stiffness so like go, yeah you know <laughs> so i'm like i'm all about it it's good stuff Mm -hmm. Train your twerking, ladies. Do it. Yeah, so yeah. I would say how that has transitioned for me from cue to twerking is, on the business side, is um, learning how to manage women. Yeah. Learning to be a leader a for, <laughs> for women. Because women have a lot of emotions, and it's a lot, and... They, every, some people want to throw in their two cents and whatnot, and then you have to be like, no, this is my company. This so is what's an example? Because I know you've done with Tour Team a few music videos, right? Yeah. As well as like auditions for it, managing the team. Like, what's a specific like scenario or a specific thing that's happened where you've had to like manage these girls and like what was the difficulty of it? Mm, let's see. You don't have to name names, but like, can you give a little bit more of a sp concrete, specific, like, example? Yeah. Um, I think over time, I'm just going to say over time, you start to, like, that's why I have auditions now, and I don't just, like, accept people on the team. Mm. I want to see who you are first. Mm. And I've heard people say this, like, on auditions and stuff, are you a good person? Are you, you know, like, and I'm thinking, how do you know that from you an audition? Can, yeah. Or how are you going to know how my work ethic is? Or, you know, whatever situation. Now I'm like, how is your work ethic? <laughs> do you show up on time? Or are you taking an hour and a half to stretch and we're trying to go full out? Mm. Like, uh, that would be a specific issue where I had to yell at someone. Yeah, right. And I had to get, you know, stern with them, like, this is not okay. Mm -hmm. Or, like, sorry, you can't be on the team anymore. I've let girls go because of their behavior or of, you know, acting a certain way. Like, I'm, I want Giving women. You attitude. I'm not going to have people who treat this as something, like, that they do as whatever. I'm not going to be... Um, having women on my team who go out and get wasted and make a fool out of themselves and people look at the team in that type of light. Like, growing up as a cheerleader, right. that was a big thing in cheerleading. Like, you weren't allowed to even stand, like, this close to yeah, a boy. Right. Like, they they were like, you're a cheerleader, everyone's looking the at you. You have right. to be professional. Yeah. And that's how I look at the team, too. Like, are you being professional? Like, right. I don't care what you do in your spare time. I don't care what book, you know, things that you book, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But if you're here and you're on my time and we're doing the team, we're going to lead the mission to what it is. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah, here so together. So, it has to be, there has to be an element of seriousness, even though it's like twerking. So yeah, with that, right. It's fun and stuff. But it's so fun. Everything kind of has way. that, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, everything has that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to treat it with a certain level of discipline about it. Yeah. Um... So how has that made you grown from starting it, being like, oh, anyone on the team can come on, or you're trying to run these events and then you notice, like, oh, shit, that's, she's not being professional. How has that called you to be a little different? Like, have you, have you changed over time? Um, or have you? Was it immediately like, hey, <laughs> you're already, like, set to go? Like, no, at first it was, like, like, my friends that I had on the team. Yeah, right. And just people I knew. And it wasn't necessarily good for 
there wasn't a good relationship there because now I'm in control of something and they're having to listen to me right. as an employer compared to, you know, hiring you for a gig, like I'm paying you compared to a friendship. Mm -hmm. So I think in any kind of situation that'd be an issue, yeah. but then it was like, okay, well, you're not, you're not professional. Like we're cool. We're friends. I love you forever. But I understand that this is, like, I can't hire you. Yeah, right, right. You know? There's a separation. There's a separation there. Zone. So I remember talking to my boyfriend and just feeling so much guilt and so much, like, it was me and it was yeah, my fault. Right. When it was like, okay, maybe I could have handled situations differently and I've grown through that. But then again, at the end of the day, I'm the boss. And it was hard to say that I'm the boss because I, they're my friends yeah. or, you know, these are people I care about and I'm not trying to be pushy or mean or like, you know, make people not like me. Yeah, but at the yeah. end of the day, shit's got to get done. Mm -hmm. And like, this is my vision. So I have to make my vision look the best. Yeah, yeah. So I almost felt like guilty towards people. I totally. didn't want to talk to them or I felt like I was like, you know, I yep. need to be shy but then you did something wrong. I did something like wrong. Yeah, but yeah. then after that, I was like, "No, I'm not. This is, this is what I have to be." But I just needed to be a better leader in that way. 